New York Jets offensive tackle Makai Becton made his much-anticipated return to the field against the Cleveland Browns on Thursday. So let's take a look at his All-22 and I'll show you why Becton might just be back. Let's go. What's going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown. And today we're looking at Makai Becton and his snaps in the Hall of Fame game. Off the bat, I'm not here to talk about whether you agree with Makai Becton only playing seven snaps and sitting himself out because of the turf and his knee injury. Personally, I agree, but I don't want to get into that debate. I'm here to talk about the film because I thought it was super impressive in that small sample size. We're going to start looking at Makai Becton as a run blocker. He was playing left tackle. We all know he's number 77. This first snap is ridiculously good. Coming off his own end zone, have a look at Makai Becton at full speed here. The force at the point of attack and the ability to move his defender away from the line of scrimmage. This is what we saw in his rookie season. I want you to focus on his pad level at the point of attack. Look how he stands up the Cleveland Browns defensive end. That helmet bang shoots up to the sky. Makai Becton wins with the pad level. He has the leverage advantage. He's got tight hands inside and he gets that initial push. But even better than that, once the Browns defensive end tries to fight back, look how Makai just marches him away from the line of scrimmage, how he causes that displacement. Now look, this is a really messy play on the whole, this outside zone rep from the Jets. The Browns do a nice job flooding and winning the numbers battle. But Makai Becton, this rep is perfect. I mean, this is force and pad level at the line of scrimmage and the ability to just use his mass to walk people off their spot. A fantastic job on the front side of outside zone here from Makai. Doesn't eventuate in a big gain, but he played his role perfectly. This next snap is an absolute beauty from Makai Becton in the ground game. Left hand side of your screen, look at the combo block that he executes in this split zone look. As we let this roll, number 77 pumps those legs, and I talked about it in the last clip. Look at the displacement that he gets along the line of scrimmage. The hole that he opens up for the cutback here on the split zone for Izzy Abanakunda. If number 61, Max Mitchell, doesn't whiff another block, have a look at him right-hand side of your screen, out in front of his pads, reaching, lunging, out of control, swim over the top. Makai Becton has this as almost a touchdown. The amount of push he's able to get would have created a five-yard lane. I understand the safety's buzzing down here from the left of screen. He ends up implementing the tackle as well. But if Mitchell doesn't whiff, Becton creates enough space. The way he engages his lower half is really special. He's got so much power. His pad level isn't even perfect here, but Makai is just able to muscle his guy. Have a look where the defensive tackle starts. Left-hand side of your screen, he starts outside the left hash, and have a look where he ends up once Makai Becton is done with him. The opposite hash on the floor. This is ridiculous. These are the characteristics and the traits that make Makai Becton an elite talent. He just needs to stay healthy. The few running snaps he had in this Hall of Fame game, he absolutely dominated the Cleveland Browns. To finish the video, let's pivot now to Makai Becton in pass protection. And this, it's one hell of a rep. Number 77, left-hand side of your screen. We'll watch it at full speed together. Makai Becton is a fluid mover. He's a dancing bear at 350 pounds, and that is a rare talent. So let's break it down now. Makai Becton's ability to travel is fantastic. Weight distribution covers great ground and is in a balanced position at the point of attack. But this is where his hands really dominate. Makai Becton goes for the two-hand stab, bang, lands it on the chest of the defensive end. Look how it shoots the head up. It gets the end off balance. Makai Becton has done his job with his hand utilization. But the rep's not finished yet. Makai Becton's got to continue to work his base through this block, and look how well he does it. Again, he matches up his hands and his feet extremely well. He times the punch, he continues to work his base, and is again in a balanced position. He's won the rep, but on the back end, he throws an anchor in there too. Watch how Becton gets his hands tight to the chest of the defensive end, stone walls, and gets a five-yard cushion for Zach Wilson in a beautiful pocket, and he uncorks that deep ball to Taylor. He's just so smooth out of his stance. He's got the technical proficiency. Makai Becton, when healthy, is one of the best tackles in the NFL. So guys, there's a mini breakdown of Makai Becton and his work against the Cleveland Browns in the Hall of Fame game. I know it was a small sample size. I understand the knee is still an issue, but if Becton is healthy, he's going to be a force in 2023.